cancel me again. For, right, what what really, ahead, Brad. Yeah, yeah. What really makes you happy now? Right now. Hanging <laughs> hanging with your boys is the funnest thing to do, though. Huh? Hanging with your boys is the funnest thing to do. Yeah. No matter yeah. how much money you have, it's still always gonna be the always thing. the best. There's nothing there's nothing else to do. I like, agree. Hanging with your boys and, and talking shit and laughing is always gonna be the peak human experience. Yeah, well, once you have it all, like where do you go from that? Like you you get more you just shit, need, more I shit. think how many shit? close boys do you have? Yeah, like you, Tristan, who else? Two, three. Tristan, you wanna come in here? Yeah, you don't want to come on here? No, he's good. Hanging with your boys is always going to be the peak thing. No matter, it doesn't matter if I have $100 million or I have $10. I'll be still sitting with Tristan laughing. That's, so then, that's, that, that's, that's you, always going to be the funnest have thing. Have you guys been like that since you were born? Yeah. yeah. Was but, that taught to you or it's just like a bond? It was semi-taught to us. We tried to fight when we were a kid and our dad, our dad wouldn't have it. Fuck yeah. He was like, no, what do you, the world's out to I, get I you think boys. People, You're on the same I team. think there's a lot of people that, that don't understand the importance of like getting along with your relatives. And that's something that you guys show, I think, people envy. Well, yeah. I mean, if you if, if you have a brother, the idea is that you make your best friend possible out of him, right? Well, what, why else would you have a brother? Well, no, but I think there's a lot of, like, families that lack that. But this is the thing, and this is where I'm about to get... Oh, I need to shut up, man. I'm about to say some shit. You're already canceled. <laughs> yeah, what, they want to they wanna get rid of the family? No, I can go down a whole bunch of tangents. Oh, that's a, yeah. That's, I, a, that's true, though. Yeah. But I can go down a whole bunch of tangents. But in my experience, these shorts are so small. One second. Oh, you're good. Yeah. Where's the sheesh guy? Are you, going for like the Dan, are you going for like the Dan Blazarian type no, of live? I, I, I was swimming and then we went to the desert and then you guys are here. Okay. So it's just one of them things. Um, in my experience, I have a lot of guys who come and say, I'm not as close with my brother as you and Tristan. I want to be as close. Why are, why are we not as close as you and your brother are? And, yeah. the, and 95% of the time, the, the answer is because of chicks. Because, Whoa. No, because you have two brothers growing up. They hit puberty, whatever. They both get different girlfriends. They move in with their girl or their girl doesn't like them rolling with their brother because they're always out doing man shit and da -da, And their girl slightly isolates them to a degree or their chick doesn't like his chick or whatever. There's some chick involvement. So if you want to truly have a close relationship <laughs> with your, your brother or your friends, you need to have a relationship with them where you sit and say, all right, cool. I, me and Tristan have done this multiple times. We've had girls sit there and go, I don't like your brother. That's a problem because it, if, it gets, if it's if it gets anywhere near a decision, you're going to lose. So you either like him right right away or just fuck off. But Damn. most people won't do that. Most people will be like, "Well, why? Well, yeah, he was a bit rude to you, I guess. Okay, we won't go over there tonight. Mm -hmm, please suck me off." And then it just it all falls <laughs> apart. That you is have to make very, a choice. That is very Yo, true. Powerful. It's true, bro. You have to make a choice. You have to make a decision. And we always made the decision to put our brother above a good everything point. else. I never thought about that. And and it and it ties into lots of things. It also ties into economics. I, I've said this story before, but I'll say it again. When I was growing up in Luton in England, which is a, a highly Islamic uh, town, there's lots of Muslims who live there. They, I was friends with some Muslim guys in college and they used to laugh at me all the time. One of them was like 19, worked in Tesco and had a Ferrari. I was like, bro, how do you have a Ferrari when you work in a fucking, I think he worked in a chicken chip shop. He worked in like a fast food restaurant and had a Ferrari. I was like, how do you have a Ferrari when you work in a, a fast food restaurant? He said, cause I got nine brothers. And we all work together and we share the car. I was like, okay, but why do you share the car? He said, no, no, you don't understand. You, I won't use the racial slurs, but he was like, you people, you, because you and your, your three brothers, you all grow up, you all decide to get with your girl, you all go pay different rents, you all disappear, all your money gets spread out now, you're taking your girl on holiday and paying a different rents and you're all separate. Me and my nine brothers live in one big house. If we meet a woman, she moves into the house. The men are all focused on making money. The women are all looking after us, cooking, cleaning. You got nine men in the same house trying to pool their incomes. That's why we own the houses you rent from us. It's different. Brotherhood first. It's different. You people don't think that way. You fall in love. You fall in love with some bitch and you run off. You go pay her rent. Sure. It's, it's like a different mentality you and know, that's why they win. I think it's funny because a lot of people that have talked about you say, I agree with a lot of things that he says, but there's those two things that I just can't agree with. Boo-hoo. But how, like it's, it sucks. It doesn't suck because that's life. I don't expect people to agree with everything I say. But a lot of things that you do say are very important. So those messages for, for the younger audience, it sucks that that's not like that's not getting taken in. But the bullshit's what they look at. Well, yeah, they find the little bits that they can use to purport and try and pretend I'm a bad guy and they amplify them. That's true. But I can't think of anyone else on the Internet who I agree with 100 percent of what they say. There's people sure. I really like. And yeah, we're living in a world now where people are asinine. They have the slave mind. What's interesting is there's a guy who's built a TikTok account and I think he has like a million followers. And what he does is he walks around college campuses asking people if they've heard of me and then Whoa. if they like me or not it's brilliant so he goes and goes have you heard of andrew tate and they're like yeah do you like him no why he's misogynist define misogynist and they go yeah whatever bro and just what they don't even know why they dislike me yeah and it's the slave it's mind taught to yeah, they, they can't even tell you a quote i've said what's he said bad about women 
uh, 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 he's a piece of shit. They can't answer the questions. They don't know. So a lot of these people are just slave mind programmed, 